Good evening, Area 23. I like you guys, so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm completely a collectivist. And as a collectivist, it only seems fair that I let the group choose which poem I read tonight. So, what would you prefer? A poem about love and motorcycles, or a poem about space exploration? Space! Both! Space! Space! Really? Space? Space. Oh, the collective has spoken! Fine. The moon is up there, far away. No one has been there yet, but someone will go there soon. Someday you may go there too. May and Ira Freeman, from their children's book, You Will Go to the Moon. This Atomic Age picture book once promised the children now facing retirement they would drink root beer floats, watch cowboy pictures on a spinning Taurus in outer space, and bounce through lunar dust in hexapod moon buggies. Uh-huh. We all know by now, none of us will leave the Earth. Our grandparents misled our parents who sent us to space camp. Or at least, they let us look at the brochure. They showed us the stars so we would take calculus and do push-ups for the president. They gave us space tomato seeds that never grew in paper cups. It would have been unbearable to know how small and useless our real work would be, how our lives would stretch on like one sixth period after another, and how many years we would all sleep alone. How long will you be here? When will you go on to the moon? Soon. You will go as soon as the moon ship comes for you.